Hello guys, Skip here and welcome back to episode number 18 of uh, Little Friends. This time we go more into the office area of uh, our little uh, friends. <laughs> I gotta say, this was a beautiful build for me. I, I loved it and it took me some time. Not that much, but it took me some time until I uh, managed to finish it. Uh, but I totally, totally enjoyed it. Um, this build is, was uh, also... I took some inspiration from another French uh, city. Mostly for the roads and just a tiny bit about the office buildings here. Plus I know, we all know actually, that in uh, Paris, in France, uh, there are some really nice office areas. Uh, pretty, pretty well developed and uh, pretty futuristic nowadays, uh, at least for Europe. I will show you in a very short time uh, from Google uh, Earth uh, what I am talking about, but till then <laughs> I want to say regrets and big big sorry for again having the same issue over and over again. Well, it happens, I mean, more often than it should be. Uh, me not adding the mouse cursor on my videos. Hopefully you guys really understand, uh, I mean, you see exactly what I'm clicking because you can see that at least but the only reason why you see why my mouse cursor is missing is because when I take I'm taking um, uh, cinematics I have to de deactivate it and then I forget just to reactivate it anyways so uh, this build it's uh, taking place just as a continuity of what we did in the previous uh, episode. So if you haven't seen the previous episode, I, I really advise you to do so because that's another really, really good build. Uh, this is a continuity because uh, it's on the same round, uh, not roundabout, on the same boulevard that is coming from the previous roundabout. Uh, unfortunately, even in cinematic, you won't see exactly this uh, and that's because we have some empty spaces and I hate showing those empty spaces but it's a uh, it's it's a uh, first part uh, there will be future episodes where we continue this area and uh, things will look even uh, better and i'm linking here the roads toward uh, to the boulevards trying not to mess up too much with the traffic well for now of course there will be no traffic but in the future there will be traffic plus if we do this like a realistic way, I have to take care or to to do this properly. I'm continuing the uh, this uh, tram line here. I need to cross it on the other side. Maybe it's not that orthodox the way I'm doing it right now, but not crazy enough. Uh, I mean, it's it's crazy, but that that crazy because. These kind of things are absolutely normal. It's, it's just a U-turn for for the uh, trams here, so nothing too crazy or too uh, I don't know unreal or realistic. Even it's it's a very small slope there. You can barely see the slope actually and feel, so that shouldn't be a problem. I've been adding here some. Uh, interesting uh, props that I found. I don't know how they are called actually and I make them work like some uh, little um, uh, How do they call how do you call these? Um, hmm. Totally not sure how to call these but in English I mean, but I, I, I managed to do these uh, little uh, walls here and there uh, um, and adding these balustrades that I've been adding also in the previous build and with the help of this paint color, everything looks pretty okay in uh, in my opinion. So things are, uh, are looking fine. I, I've tried my very best to make it gray, but I couldn't do that. It's not possible. I don't know why, <laughs> but I can't do this uh, gray color. So I went for a strange brownish color, which fits okay-ish in the, in the end. Um, you know what? Let's jump here in uh, Google Earth, where we uh, to show you exactly from where I took inspiration. We are in Lille, in France, in Lille. 
So I I was looking uh, here and I saw this overpass, uh, green area overpass, even though it's not that uh, pretty as I, as mine. <laughs> Things are looking not that okay. But if, if you can see here, uh, we we have the same type of tunnels going under these um, uh, green areas uh, and uh, looks pretty pretty interesting in my opinion, I liked it. Uh, other roads, bridges and here is like a, an office area uh, most likely. Uh, you look at these buildings here, we have this huge one which is, says it's a business school actually. And things like this, so I tried to make the a tiny bit of idea from uh, from this area because after all we are in little France right so we need French inspiration and about that's I mean this is what about uh, this series is right we are doing French type of builds not about one city and but more even though the main one would be and will be Paris anyway so here I'm drawing some uh, little uh, pathways for people they are not functional, but I will add invisible pathways on top of them to make them functional and people actually we will walk uh, there. I will uh, later add some benches too, uh, where people can have a seat and whatever. And I'm, la I'm adding lots of uh, greeneries here, like bushes, like trees, flowers and everything to make it more full of life and more uh, beautiful from my... Um, perspective even though the one from Lille where I was uh, look, <laughs> showing you earlier it was like a bit you know that da not damaged but not m well maintained at least from the Google map uh, Google Earth uh, that's how it was uh, looking um, at that moment at that point uh, this area will be totally functional and everything will function 100% no problems no issues no nothing people will work cars will drive trams will, will drive and take people and actually there will be a lot of people coming later on in this area these are the, the branches I was telling you about this one uh, these benches are can be uh, raised from the ground you can uh, place them at uh, different type of uh, heights so they are pretty cool and pretty uh, useful in this uh, way and this is the last exit or how should I call it this is the last uh, road to link with the uh, the other one because we have two big boulevards so b before we had all of them uh, three of them done uh, one was missing so I was thinking like hey how in the hell should I do this and I at a point I, I done I came up with this idea it's not totally orthodox or very well uh, or interesting but you know what it is okay and I will leave it as it is and uh, it's pretty functional, it's okay, cars will use it. I didn't know exactly how to do it uh, other than this. Uh, it's a strange, it's an interesting str uh, shape if you ask <laughs> me. Uh, anyways, so continuing here, I don't know why the, 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 the speed of this time lapse is not properly because it's at 500% as the entire time lapse but that one was pretty uh slow this one as well anyways um this is a new building made by ronix uh, he came back with some really cool buildings and th that big one is uh, one of them uh, it's a uh, an office from prague or something and i'm adding here under uh right under it some other type of buildings i don't know which one is this uh i will add it a few times in order to make it like a big one um like the one from Lille that I was showing you earlier. I, I didn't find any other building to make it look like a... To like have a big surface. So I went with these ones uh, here and there. And uh, I managed to make a big, a big uh, <laughs> uh, building after all. Which is uh, functioning and it's all good. And uh, I'm happy with it, about it. Um... I was trying to find some other type of uh, ideas, but um, I, I, I stayed with this one. I, I, I didn't show, but I tried something else, so I kept these ones in the end. Um, here is another building, another b uh, beautiful building made by Elvis, I think. And I, turned, I, I changed that with the 
procedural objects to make it uh, like that so when you raise it from the ground it will not mm, modify the terrain or create that concrete under it you know so i've tried to make it like that and uh, even though it's not totally functioning it's okay and it will stay as it is no problem at all still i'm thinking why why is this why is this video so 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 slow even though it's at a big speed very interesting i guess something happened to my software I'm covering this area, this empty area here with some uh, pavement surfaces, of course changed with the procedure objects so I can modify it uh, exactly as I need plus you know uh, it, it's not going to count as prop limit uh, so for me it's even better and uh, the more the I had to, to say I had some fun uh, coating this uh, in a funny way with those balustrades because it was very very hard and I had to take so so many of them uh, plopped one near each other it took me quite a lot of time uh, but in the end it looks fine and it was finished I, i'm not going to show you all these kind of things because uh, at a point it's getting boring for me as well it took me like in total to make all these balustrades like, like maybe an hour or so uh, and here on the other side i'm going to make some um, some nice let's call them pathways it's it's like a little green area a little green park here uh, for people to uh, relax take a walk uh, while uh, uh, taking a break from work and whatnot and even though this building is quite high very very high actually it is pretty pretty interesting i was looking for something else uh, that is french uh, uh, there is a uh, not a dome it's called uh, something a gate a specific gate a building uh, sorry forgotten i forgot the name i've tried to use that one which is it's a very very old building on the workshop but the the colors are very bright and you can't color it with the uh, with color it mode uh it's nothing it's not changing so i can't change that and use that at all at all and it's pretty annoying because that would have been really really cool to use here in uh, in our build uh, i'm adding some new parking uh, areas parking garages made by uh, king leno pretty damn cool i love them uh, even though they are like big ones i'm going to link the roads uh, between them so people will actually drive through them uh, which is pretty awesome and um, they are, they are functioning, I mean, after all, uh, cars will actually park, some of them will fly there, <laughs> but it is what it is, I can't do anything. Uh, here I'm adding some lines and as well, uh, to, because you, you guys, you know me, I can't do stuff without uh, making intersections and uh, uh, detailing these kind of, uh, <laughs> with lines and whatnot, uh, and not only, and all these, um, all those gaps between the median concrete area is going to be uh, also uh, covered up with some lines and stuff. I'm adding some extra buildings because uh, I found more on the uh, workshop. I had to quit the game and look for some more office buildings. And uh, for instance, for this one, I'm adding on top of it some uh, pavement. Uh, uh, because that one was too bright and too meh. Um, that's another old building uh, from workshop. I'm adding here a, a bridge, a pedestrian bridge between these two buildings so people can actually cross it. Well, they are not going to cross it, uh, even though I can do that, uh, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, I made it so people can, let's say, cross it from the parking area to the um, to the office building there without having to, to get out outside I'm, I, I found these doors as well I PO them so they will look like doors actually you know this way they can uh, uh, let's say use the um, doors to go from a side to another one and I found something else and something something very cool made by also by Elvis another type of road for instance here at the end of this uh, road I'm, uh, I'm adding this one which is made by Elvis and those two are like 
and the tunnels to to and out from uh, the underground parking area here actually they are not they are just for the looks they are not working like that but they are pretty cool and pretty awesome i think you can add an invisible road if you really really want i'm not totally sure but i think with some little tricks you can do that uh, i didn't want to do that so no problem at all for me and here i need to oh by the way and i had to work a lot on the uh of camera to to make these all these green areas all of these kind of things because i can't show them all of in the video it would have been one hour plus time lapse video so i had to cut a little bit from here a little bit from there for you just to understand what i'm doing mostly and how am i doing this for those who don't know it, how to do it and i had to take a lot of of camera recording and not recordings of camera work uh, with this green area here uh, it took a lot of time trust me a lot and a lot of time but this will be developed more and more in the future episodes uh, this area i mean uh, i'm adding here more green areas i love these new block grasses made by lord gruny pretty well uh, pretty pretty well and uh, pretty cool uh, there are three types if i'm not mistaken so is with this with gravel and with some um, some mud i guess or something like that and they are pretty pretty cool um i'm adding lots of invisible pathways here and there so people can actually do walk on uh, all over here and uh, all over here all over this area all over the office area i'm adding some event uh, generators as well so people can gather and or to have something to attract them in these areas and uh, <clears throat> to add more details on this i had to get some um, decals like um, dirt and uh, even some uh, stain decals as well I'm, I'm not totally sure i'm just seeing right now why in the hell those bosses are going through the parking garages because i don't remember having any any bus lines in this area here it's very very strange hmm. anyways so uh, and here I had to, to cover up this uh, gap um, There is a, a hole there so I had to cover it up with something and I, I copied uh, these um, stairs there uh, For which I could have changed this uh, color as well and a toilet <laughs> uh, Plus some um, uh, Other damage decals <coughs> Sorry, my voice is betraying me uh, damage details to make things look really good. Uh, these are the gaps that I, that I was telling you earlier between those these concrete medians, and I cover them with uh, some uh, lines and some concrete barriers, so cars will not make any type of uh, U-turns or anything there, even though they are forbidden with uh, TMP mode, uh, with traffic manager mode. But this is just for the looks uh, and you know to make it more realistic because there are areas like this where uh, you, we have in real life uh, concrete uh, barriers. Guys, we are getting close to the end of this uh, video. Uh, the cinematics will hit us. Will hit us. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any good idea for future episodes, uh, where, from where to take inspiration, of course, do let me know there. Um, but other than that, please do take care uh, and uh, hit the like button if you did enjoy this. If you don't, hit again the like button. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And, well, we are going to see each other in the next episode. But till then, guys, take care and I salute you.